15 times King Charles III pissed off the world. Before the end of 2022, it was difficult to imagine the royal family without Queen Elizabeth at its helm. I mean, it's clear it was going to happen since she was 96, but we were still shocked when it did. Her death is currently regarded as one of the most publicized royal deaths in the world, and rightly so. But following the death of the Queen came King Charles' ascension to the throne. While the transitioning process might have gone pretty smoothly, his ascension has once again put him in the media spotlight. In this episode, we'll be taking a huge dive into a few of the times that King Charles managed to make people angry. If you're new to this channel and you find this video insightful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It really helps us out. Let's get right into it. Number 1. His Marital History One of the most publicized controversies concerning Charles is his marital history. This is due to the tumultuous nature of his relationships, particularly his marriage to Princess Diana. Charles and Diana's relationship was plagued with problems from the beginning, including reports of infidelity on both sides. Plus, it sure doesn't help that Diana supposedly also struggled with mental health issues that were exacerbated by their turbulent marriage. The couple eventually separated in 1992, and their divorce in 1996 was highly publicized and acrimonious. Diana's death in a car accident in 1997 only fueled the controversy, with some conspiracy theorists suggesting that Charles was somehow involved in her death. Then, there's Charles' relationship with his current wife, Camilla Parker Bowles. Camilla was infamously the other woman in Charles' marriage to Diana, and many people blamed her for the breakdown of their relationship. When Charles and Camilla eventually married in 2005, some people saw it as a betrayal of Diana's memory. More so, Charles' infidelity and the way he treated Diana during their marriage were seen by many as damaging to the reputation of the monarchy. Number 2. His Views on Architecture King Charles is well known for his love of traditional architecture and his criticism of the modern design of architecture. Charles has often spoken out against modern buildings and has been vocal about his preference for traditional styles. More often than not, his opinions put him at odds with many architects and designers who advocate for modern and innovative designs. Critics argue that Charles' views are outdated and that he's resistant to change and progress in the field of architecture. Since he's now king, his views on architecture have reignited the debate about the role of tradition and innovation in the field of architecture and the relationship between architecture and culture. Furthermore, Charles' influence as the King of the United Kingdom has also raised concerns about the impact his views on architecture could have on the country's architectural environment. Some worry that Charles' preference for traditional styles could stifle innovation and limit the creative possibilities of architects and designers. Number 3. His Treatment of Prince Andrew Andrew's been embroiled in scandal with allegations of sexual misconduct and his connection to the late financier Jeffrey Epstein. There are two main camps when it comes to that scandal. Charles is said to be irritated by his brother's behavior and urged him to relinquish his royal duties when the scandal became public knowledge. As a result, the relationship between the siblings has suffered greatly, with reports of tension and disagreements. Given that Andrew is the younger brother and a member of the royal family, critics of Charles' actions claim that he's harsh and uncaring towards his brother, regardless of his indiscretions. Instead of attempting to distance himself from Andrew, they argue that Charles should be more supportive and understanding of his situation. Although Charles' actions have pissed off some people, he has supporters who argue that he's simply doing what's best for the monarchy and the country. They argue that Andrew's allegations have harmed the royal family's reputation and that Charles is correct in placing a distance between himself and his brother. This scandal reignited the argument that the royal family uses the term family loosely and that they treat each other more like co-workers than family members. The allegations leveled against Prince Andrew are extremely serious, so King Charles, being the head of the British monarchy, wanting to distance himself from it isn't really a surprise. It does, however, beg the question, what happened to blood being thicker than water? 
helping rehabilitate Andrew might have been a better move considering their siblings. Number four, his stance on complementary medicine. Charles has long been an advocate for alternative and complementary therapies such as acupuncture, herbal medicine, and homeopathy, which he believes can provide important benefits for individuals dealing with various health issues. King Charles has managed to piss people off whenever this topic comes up. What's the issue with complementary medicine, though? Critics of Charles' view on complementary medicine have argued that there's little scientific evidence to support the efficacy of many of these therapies and that promoting them could put people's life and well-being at risk. They further argue that promoting unproven or ineffective therapies could divert attention and resources from evidence-based treatments, potentially leading to harm or delayed recovery. But while all this is true, certain people really do buy into his idea. Some people have argued that since Charles is a member of the royal family, specifically the head of the royal family, his advocacy for complementary medicine helps to raise awareness and promote public understanding of these therapies, which in turn can lead to more research and development in this field. Number 5. Cash for Honor Scandal this was a political scandal in the United Kingdom involving allegations that honors and peerages were offered in exchange for donations or loans. When it was revealed that some of King Charles' personal donations to the Labour Party had been considered for a peerage, he became embroiled in the controversy. The Labour Party was in power at the time, and Charles had made several large donations to the party. These donations were allegedly made in exchange for a possible peerage for Charles which would have given him a seat in the House of Lords and elevated his status considerably. A subsequent investigation found no wrongdoing on Charles' part. It did, however, harm Charles' reputation and raised concerns about the ethics of political fundraising and the monarchy's role in the political process. Many have seen Charles' involvement in the Cash for Honor scandal reflecting poorly on his judgment and integrity and ultimately undermining public trust in the monarchy. Number 6 the Prince's Foundation Controversy In 2011, it was reported that many wealthy donors had made significant donations to the Prince's Foundation, a charity established by King Charles, which provides funding for a range of charitable causes. But one of these donors made more headlines than others. This controversy specifically puts Charles' morals into question for accepting a donation from a controversial figure. It was alleged that some of the donations had been made by wealthy individuals who had been seeking to gain favor with the Prince of Wales and secure preferential treatment or access to government officials. King Charles was also accused of using his position to advance his personal interests and that of his wealthy associates. Number 7 his involvement in the global financial crisis. King Charles faced criticism for his involvement in the global financial crisis, specifically his investment in an offshore fund that was implicated in the Panama Papers scandal. The Panama Papers revealed that King Charles had invested in the fund through his private estate and raised questions about his role in the financial crisis and his ties to offshore financial centers. This controversy was particularly damaging to King Charles' reputation, as he'd been an advocate for financial transparency and accountability in the past. Some argued that this showed a lack of judgment and a disregard for the financial stability of the country. Despite the criticism, King Charles continued to defend his actions, saying that his investments were made in good faith and that he was unaware of any unethical practices associated with the fund. Number 8. The Death of Princess Diana Following Diana's tragic death in a car crash in Paris in 1997, there were rumors and much speculation about the circumstances surrounding the accident. Some people believe that Charles was somehow involved, but are they just rumors? For starters, people have chosen to focus on the series of issues that plagued the marriage and how both parties have been accused of infidelity in the past. More so, there's the fact that Diana publicly admitted to battling mental health issues during the marriage, which was something not many revealed openly at the time. Some believe that her death was the perfect way to remove the stain from the royal family once and for all. However, there's no credible evidence to suggest that King Charles was involved in the death of Princess Diana. In fact, multiple official investigations, including a lengthy inquiry led by Lord Stevens in 2006, 
have concluded that Diana's death was the result of a tragic accident. But there's also the fact that Charles got married to Camilla in 2005, something that would not have been able to happen in an Anglican church had she still been alive. Number 9. His Disregard for the Lives of Animals The alleged disregard for animal welfare by King Charles, particularly about his pursuits of hunting and other blood sports, have sparked controversy. Many animal rights activists have condemned the king's participation in these activities, claiming that they're inhumane. They've also accused him of encouraging a culture of indifference to animal suffering and setting a bad example for others. In response to these criticisms, King Charles has defended his hunting activities as a traditional part of rural culture and a method of wildlife population management. He's also claimed that his involvement in hunting has aided conservation efforts and local economies. However, none of these excuses have been able to pacify the public. Number 10. His Alleged Anti-Semitic Views A few years ago, a letter written by King Charles was revealed in which he implied that the influx of European Jews to Israel was to blame for fueling the Israeli-Arab conflict. The letter was apparently written to a friend after a visit to the Gulf with Princess Diana. In the letter, the king admitted to having a greater insight into Arabs' hostility towards Israel following the trip. He also shared his thoughts that the immigration of Jews to the land of Israel was a root cause of terrorism that needed to be addressed. If these allegations existed without proof, they'd be easier to ignore. Charles has repeatedly denied allegations, stating that he despises all forms of racial or religious prejudice. His actions seem to prove otherwise. This has raised many questions about the stance of the royal family when it comes to supporting tolerance and inclusivity and the importance of addressing all forms of discrimination. Number 11. His Comments on the Press King Charles' comments on the press have been a source of controversy for many years. He's been very critical of the press at times and has been accused of trying to undermine freedom of the press as well as public trust in the media. Some argue that his comments reflect a lack of understanding of the role of the press in a democratic society. One of the most notable instances of this controversy was when he wrote a letter to Tony Blair, then Prime Minister of the UK, in which he expressed his concern about the state of the press and the impact that it was having on public life. This letter was later leaked to the press and caused a great deal of controversy, as it was seen as an attempt to influence government policy and silence critical voices. Some argue that his comments reflect a lack of understanding of the role of the press in a democratic society. At the same time, others argued that his concern was justified given the amount of media scrutiny that he faces daily. Number 12. Neglecting his children King Charles faced serious backlash concerning his children, particularly during their younger years. Some have accused him of being too focused on his work and public duties, which led to him neglecting his responsibilities as a parent. This controversy gained significant media attention in the 1990s when it was revealed that Prince William and Prince Harry's mother, Princess Diana, had accused King Charles of being emotionally distant and not providing sufficient support to her and their children. She alleged that his preoccupation with his public duties had made it difficult for him to be fully present as a father. An example of this was one instance when William was swinging a golf club and accidentally hit himself in the head, fracturing his skull in the process. He underwent a 17-minute operation to repair the damage, and while Diana canceled the trip to Yorkshire to be with her son in the hospital, Charles popped in for a bit and disappeared shortly after. Number 13. The Spider Memos The Spider Memos controversy concerns a series of private letters written by King Charles to government ministers in which he expressed his views on a variety of political and social issues. The letters, which were written over several years, were intended to be kept private and not made public. Following a lengthy legal battle between Charles and the government, the UK Supreme Court ruled in 2015 that the letters could be made public. What happened when the public got to know the content of these letters? You can pretty much guess for yourself. Many believed that the letters represented an inappropriate interference in politics and that as a member of the royal family, he should remain politically neutral. They argued that the letters revealed an attempt by Charles to use his influence to promote his personal opinions and agendas, 
which are inconsistent with the principles of a democratic and impartial society. The letters cast a shadow on the monarchy and the possibility of manipulating the government to achieve an agenda that best suits their purpose. Number 14. The Fraudulent Cancer Cure Episode This is closely related to his support for complementary medicine, which in itself has brought him so much public criticism. There have been allegations that King Charles was involved in the promotion of a fraudulent cancer cure, known as the Duchy Herbal's Detox Tincture. According to these allegations, the tincture was marketed as a cancer cure, despite there being no scientific evidence to support its effectiveness. Charles was certainly aware of the influence he has on the public and should therefore have known better judgment when it came to sharing unproven cure-alls. Critics argue that Charles' endorsement of this product was dangerous as it gave false hope to cancer patients and could lead them to delay or forego evidence-based medical treatments. They argue that as a prominent public figure, Charles has a responsibility to promote only safe and effective medical practices and that promoting unproven therapies could put people's health and well-being at risk. Ultimately, one has to ask if perhaps Charles is oblivious to the power his opinion wields among citizens of Great Britain and the world at large. Number 15. Charles on Tax Avoidance Allegations Some people believe that as a member of the royal family, King Charles has a responsibility to pay his fair share of taxes, which has sparked controversy for a couple of years now. According to reports, Charles has used a variety of legal tax avoidance strategies to reduce his tax liability, including investing in offshore funds and using trusts. Critics argue that such practices are unethical because they allow wealthy individuals to avoid paying their fair share of taxes, potentially leading to a revenue shortfall and underfunding of public services, whereas regular citizens end up paying heavy taxes that would be further used to fund the British monarchy. While it might seem impossible, some people support his actions. Charles supporters argue that he acted within the law and that tax evasion is a common practice among the wealthy in the UK and elsewhere. They contend that Charles has a responsibility to manage his finances in a financially prudent and sustainable manner and that he shouldn't be chastised for employing legal tax strategies. But does this support really hold? And above everything, has it made the world less pissed about how he's been able to avoid paying taxes as he's expected to? With Charles' tax avoidance scandal, we round off 15 times that Charles has pissed off the world, either deliberately or indeliberately. What are your thoughts about these scenarios? Do you think the backlash Charles has received is grounded or unfounded? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video if you found it insightful and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.